If you want to learn how to record vocals or instruments with your Tascam DL40X directly into your computer, iPad or iPhone, in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started. So grab yourself a micro USB cable and plug it into the side of the device. If you're plugging it into an iPad or an iPhone, you just want to get yourself one of these lightning to USB connectors if you're using one of the older connector types. So we can power on the unit by pressing and holding. We're greeted with a menu. If this menu doesn't pop up automatically, you might have to go into the menu and select USB. It should come up automatically if you've got a cable plugged in. So bus power is if you want to power a device from an external source. Card reader is for transferring files, and the one we want is audio interface. So this opens up another menu where we can connect to either a PC or iOS. I'm connecting to iOS. We can choose between 48 and 44.1 kilohertz sample rate. And then we're ready to connect. We can click enter to execute. So now you can open up your audio software and select the interface as a source. The way you do this depends on your choice of software, but I'll show you how to do it in GarageBand as most of you will have access to this. If you open up GarageBand and create a new document, and if it's not already showing, scroll across until you get to audio recorder and hit voice. Now we can go back to the task cam and hit enter. I don't want to turn on phantom power, so I'll turn that off on the side. A pop-up will come up on the iPad telling you that you've connected an audio device. On the bottom right, you can turn on or off monitoring. This only goes out to the headphones, so you won't get any nasty feedback loops from the iPad speakers. I can leave this off because I haven't got any headphones at the moment. So if I talk into the task cam, as you can see, it's registering on the iPad and recording. Now the first time I opened up GarageBand, it wasn't working properly. It was only using the iPad's internal mics. So I just pulled out the lightning connector and reconnected it whilst GarageBand was on and it recognised the device automatically. I only had to do this first time and since then it's worked fine. So how do you select internal or external microphones? If you hit the menu button and select source, you can choose between internal stereo, internal mono, or external in. While we're here, you've got a low cut filter of either 40, 80, 120, or 220 hertz. We've got some reverb effects. At the top, we've got a master on off, We've got a selection of rooms, halls, plates, studios, the level of the effect itself, and whether the effect is applied to the internal or the external microphone. I'll leave effects off. Okay, so when we're done, we'll click home to return to the main menu. So now you can see I've got no external microphone plugged in, so nothing's happening. So I'll plug in my external microphone. It's a condenser microphone, so I'll turn that phantom power back on. And hit enter. So now you can see it's working from the external microphone. Now on the iPad itself we've got a, a channel selection on the bottom bottom left hand corner. If you're not seeing any signal coming in it might be because you're on the wrong channel. On the task cam I've got the microphone plugged into the left hand or channel 1. So if I've got channel 2 selected on the iPad nothing will be coming out. If you click stereo you can see that I'm only inputting into the left hand channel. If I had two microphones plugged in to the XLR inputs, then this would be recording on both. So what if I want to switch back to the internal microphones? I can't do it on the iPad directly. But if we come back across and press menu, go back to source, internal stereo, now you can see that I'm recording in stereo onto the iPad. Now I was hoping that the task cam would work as a four channel USB interface, but it seems like it's only two either the internal left and right, or the two XLR inputs. If you've found a way to get around this, and have managed to successfully record all four channels simultaneously, please leave a comment below and I'll do an update. So this is a really useful feature if you want to be able to record directly into your computer, your iPad, or even your iPhone. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.